What's up, guys? Mr. Free Coin here coming back to you again. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. I felt like I should make a video. I know it's been a little while, but considering the climate in the social media space, I just kind of backed off. Uh, so, wow, today, right? Look at what we got going on. I mean, the cells, I mean, it's... It's just been going crazy. Everyone is just losing their minds about what's happening, and rightly so. I mean, let's be honest. This um, bombshell from Jay Clayton as he freaking left the building. I mean, he literally pulled a pin on, on a grenade, dropped it on the floor, and closed the door on us. That's literally what he did. But you know what? I, I so hope he is held accountable for that because this is clear, in my eyes, clear market manipulation. I don't think it has anything to do with whether XRP is a security or whether it was sold as secure, any of that crap. I think this was just a, a huge bucket of FUD being thrown basically on the crypto market. Because if you look at the whole market, everything tumbled today, for the most part. Nothing like XRP. XRP obviously was the biggest loser. You know, we look at the percentages here. But, I mean, the whole market really took a dive. And this was just, I think it was a basically a targeted attack on the most important cryptocurrency in the market. That is my opinion there. Because why in the world, after all the stuff that Ripple's done, all the precautions that Ripple has taken, the constant connection and communication that Ripple has has had with the SEC and other regulatory agencies, why in the world would they wait eight years, or he wait, or eight years, I'm not sure if he's been in there eight years or not, to drop this right before he leaves. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really believe this guy is getting a, 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 a huge wad of money after he leaves. He knew he had the power to drop the prices by just dropping this stupid, this really, really stupid um, case on Ripple right before he leaves. To really manipulate the market down. He knows where XRP is going to go. He wasn't going to pay all that money. And, and I mean, think about it. This is something I was thinking about earlier. He really could not go very deep into XRP in the position that he, that he had, right? Because... I'm not sure if that would be kind of a conflict of interest in some way, but now that he's not, I mean, I, I don't know. It, it seems very weird to me that he would do something like that right at the last moment. It's very strange. And look how far XRP came down. And it's very likely we haven't seen the end of it. We don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. Um, it could be recovering now uh, obviously the shock of any uh you know extreme extremely bad news like this is going to drop the price down quite a lot quite you know a, a, a bit further than it will settle at but either way it had the desired effect i'm sure by taking the you know taking this market and just really rubbing it in the in the mud right especially xrp and if you think about it look at all these people that are that got in at 40 and 50 and you know 60 and more cents and they see it drop like this obviously they're going to capitulate they've sold all, i mean i've seen so many people just come right out <laughs> and say i've sold everything i sold uh, i have a friend who who messaged me on twitter and said his his buddy actually sold all 20,000 of his XRP, just sold it at a huge loss, and that's it. And the thing about it is, 
these same people who sold at a very low price like this now they have disdain for the product and even after it starts to go back up they will not buy in until it's even higher than they bought in the last time or we'll say the first time so <clears throat> This is, it's a really sad situation, guys. Um, this is how wealth is transferred, or actually, this is how wealth is stolen. I mean, this was actually a theft of a lot of people's um, um, wealth. That's, I mean, what else can be said about it? And it's really, really sad. I think uh, Ripple... Brad Garlinghouse, all these guys, they've done everything they could to make sure that they had as much clarity as possible without uh, the U.S. coming right out and saying, you know, how they're viewing it and all of that. But, you know what? This was necessary. This happens like this all the time. It's happened like this. It happened like this in 2017. Every year we have a drop like this. So, all in all, guys, I think this was necessary. Uh, or rather, you know what, I won't say that. I'm going to say this was inevitable. Because the person that is outgoing, Jay Clayton, um, he, he had to get in, I guess. I, I mean, either way, I think it was going to happen right before the huge blast off that we're going to see with XRP. I personally believe that somehow, and I don't know how, the price has been severely suppressed. Uh, I've seen some, you know, some pretty crazy numbers that, uh, you know, where, or I'll say glitches that we've seen. And I'm not sure if that's where it is or not, but I think that the price of XRP should be uh, quite a bit higher, but those folks out there with a lot of money, and I've always said this, those those same people that um, have come in now and bought up a whole all the XRP that's that's uh, been capitulated, <laughs> those same people have been doing their best to make sure there was uh, quite a lot of doubt about XRP. But guys, uh, I think. After this, if you've been able to hold on, if, if you've been able to um, overlook all the FUD again, like we've seen before, overlook all of this crap, all the, even the worst. Now, this is probably the worst of the worst, right? I mean, the SEC filed a suit against Ripple alleging that XRP is a security. At the, at the worst of it, right? So, how much, I think that's probably the worst news that could ever come out. Now, probably about a year and a half ago or so, and I can't, for some reason, I can't find this website or the article I was, I was uh, showing you guys, but it explained this very thing. It, it explained how you uh, basically manipulate a market to essentially sh cause the normal person to sell low, right? And then the money comes in, they buy that, the, uh, they buy low, take it up high and cause those same people to, uh, those same people that were forced out to come back in buying at a higher price. This is, this is textbook what's happened. Textbook. And your normal person who is not well versed in how this works, which I, who can blame anybody? Nobody really knows what's going to happen with cryptocurrency. And most people don't know what it is. You know, how is it going to be used? As we know, anytime you tell people about cryptocurrency, you know, one of the first questions they ask is, okay, so is this really like a, 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 a coin? <laughs> you know, they have no clue what they're, what they're dealing with, you know? So who can blame 
a person seeing such a, 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 a such a drastic price drop. I mean, how can you blame them for selling? We can't. I feel bad about it. I feel very bad about it. I feel very bad for them. Um, unfortunately, this is this is the world. It's the same thing. When I say I, I've said this before, and I had some people. Just say some kind of ridiculous stuff in the comments. But, guys, the only way you can get rich off of XRP is if someone loses money. Period. That's just the way it's going to happen. Well, and, and maybe not lose money, but, um, well, no, yeah. That's essentially uh, where it comes to. I mean, at the worst of it. At the at the kind of the best of it, as the price go goes up, those of us who were buying at these levels at twenty eight cents, twenty cents, and all of that stuff, somebody's got to be buying when it gets to fifty dollars, you know, where we wanted a hundred dollars. Somebody's got to be buying at that level, okay. And at that point, we're all in extreme profit. So all in all. For us to get rich, someone has to see their investment diminish. Now, obviously, they only lose money if they sell, but somebody's going to be buying at $100 and then see the market retract soon after, maybe drop 20-30%. You know, and will they sell? Well, yeah, somebody's going to sell. Somebody's gonna gonna buy it a hundred and sell it thirty. You know, it's going to happen. But this is life. This is how it is. It's the same thing with Bitcoin. Same thing happened with Bitcoin. Same thing happened with Ethereum. It's going to happen. So, yes, we can feel bad, and I do feel bad. But like I said, it is. It's just part of life. Um, those of us who got in at 20 and 10 cents, you got to remember, I've said this a lot, several times myself. In early 2017, I bought XRP at six tenths of a cent. I just didn't have enough information about it, nor was I even looking to know to spend five or ten or twenty thousand dollars and buy up as much as I could at the time. I didn't have the information, and I'm sure. That even if I had done that, the amount of FUD that was coming out back then would have probably caused me to sell too early. Okay, so again, these things are going to happen. We're going to see probably more FUD get pushed out even when the price goes up. It, it's going to happen. So right now, as investors in XRP, we have to be as strong as possible and, and patient and understand that this is the way of financial markets, of stock markets, of anything you can buy into and expect a, uh, an increase in price or an increase in profit. Things like this will happen. We have to be prepared for it. This is this very moment is what we have been preparing for. For the last three years. This is it. This is the moment. And the question is. Do we have the brass. To stick with it. And see this through. To the. To the point. That we've been looking for. To that level. That we've been expecting. I know I have it. And believe me, I, th I thought a few times about selling and then possibly buying back in after it hit a, a lower price. But the thing is, you don't know when it's going to reverse. The best thing to do is just hodl and wait and buy more. <laughs> like right now, where's the price at? We're sitting at 28, uh, 28 cents. This is the time to buy. But most people are afraid of it. They don't have any idea what's happening. They haven't really 
looked into this. I mean, it's obvious to those of us who've been in, into XRP uh, for these last few years. It's obvious to us that this is just FUD. It will pass. And XR, where XRP is going, we know that. There are other people who don't. I told a guy uh, where I work about XRP, and he bought in at 50, 60 cents. And I bet you anything. And I told him this. I said, anything can happen. So when you see, if you see the price go down, don't sell. Buy more to lower your dollar cost average. But I bet you anything. I bet you anything that he sold. I bet you. I'm going to ask him tomorrow. But I bet you anything he sold. And it's unfortunate, but it's just a part of life. So guys, um, that's really all I had to talk about. I'm not going to talk about any election stuff or anything like that. I think, you know, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see how that all turns out. Um, <clears throat> other than that, there are tons of people out here. I mean, <laughs> some of the tweets I've seen are just, I mean, pretty amazing. Oh, wow. This is something from the bearable guy. Um, <laughs> and Bulldog Brewer says, I don't even have it in me to care at the moment. <laughs> I mean, really, everybody is, I mean, they are, <laughs> we're just, we're beaten. We're beaten down. But you know what? We're not out of the game yet. Uh, and guys, I'm going to tell you this. Uh, if you haven't taken the time to do so, take a look at Blockchain Backer. Really good guy from what I can tell. He, uh, he's, he's, you know, one of the XRP members, uh, I would say, that really cares about the community. And, he, you know, the dude has some really good skills. So I watch him anytime he puts a video out. Um, but this is, this is interesting. I'm going to have to give this a look. I'm, I'm not a break, you know, I'm not the type of guy that breaks down, but I'm seeing a lot of pretty interesting stuff. I'm sure there's some, um, hidden kind of messages in here. And uh, I bet you Sam or, well, maybe not Sam, but somebody will be putting out a video about it. So uh, this is going to be interesting. But all in all, guys, um, just keep your heads up and be ready for whatever happens. Just don't get left behind trying to catch this, you know, if you're, you know, selling. I mean, do what you want to do. I'm not a financial advisor in any way. All I'm saying is, just from my experience, don't get left behind. I did, I have, well, back in 2017, I got left behind. I screwed up. I lost a lot of money. I don't, I'm not going to let that happen again. And I really hope you guys don't do that either. So anyway, enough rambling. Guys, thank you for joining me today. I hope you guys do take care of yourselves. I guess if you haven't done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like button. I'll probably be making more videos or at least going live. So. Um, until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves, and God bless.